Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCorean. Today we will try to uh, do the CanMaster uh, video rendering test comparison between the IQ7 vs POCO F3 GT device. So this is another uh, most requested question friends. After posting a couple of speed test comparisons, we got to know that the POCO F3 GT was able to handle really good in terms of the RAM management and better, faster and coming close to the IQ7 as well. So that's when a lot of IQ7 users and plenty of other users as well, they did ask me, can you please do the CanMaster video rendering test? Can you please compare side by side? Let's see which phone will be able to render faster how much difference can it be there between this poco f3 gt gaming beast versus true monster which is iq7 device the so snapdragon 870 versus dimensity 1200 so let's get started friends without wasting any time this is the latest update which i'm trying to use from the play store only and this is a 1080 file which i'm trying to convert into the 4k let me just show you this is the same file which i'm trying to use during this process of demonstration same file uh, and let me try to select yes and now let's start with the first test so this test will include a series of four continuously i think three uh, three rendering tests which i'll try to include in this kind of video first we'll start, try to convert the 1080 into 4k let's see which phone will be able to convert it faster so first is that let's yes yeah let's check the estimated size how much it is the estimated size we can clearly see friends 656 and 655 slightly little bit kind of less but that's not a problem so you can identify which phone is what phone based upon the triggers as you can see the triggers i did keep it on outside so you should know which phone is what type of phone only that is the reason i did keep the triggers outside so let's start the test without wasting any time and estimated size is same close to same 656 everything is set and let's start the test at same time let's see friends even i am really interested to know whether this phone will be beating this vico 7 the monster or not so let's start the test yes the test has been begun and we'll be able to see the difference right now itself so in terms of the speeds so right now the iq7 was able to be lead in the race as you can see friends the difference between these both phones not bad the iq7 was able to finish just like that so overall in terms of the performance yes friends the snapdragon 870 and which is present in this phone is really very very powerful very powerful so we got as you can see the 50 percent has been finished and a poco f3 gt these with a dimensity 1200 which is present in this phone not at all doing any kind of good as you can see friends it's still going on and going on i think it's kind of uh, double or maybe triple the speed of this phone in the snapdragon 870 processor so not only this one i'll try to do it plenty of other uh, video editing application testing just to see the snapdragon 870 will do good or maybe <laughs> It finished the Snapdragon 870 and this phone, the POCO F3 GT right now, it's still in the middle of the race as you can see friends. So again, I think this will go on and go on forever. So let me try to cancel that and let's move to the next test, which is a 2K, which is a 1440 resolution. So same kind of thing I'm trying to select in both phones and estimated size is also same kind of close to same only as you can clearly see. And now let's start the test and let's see this time at least 1080 resolution to 1440 resolution yes at same time i did click so in the beginning it seems to be kind of close to each other in the beginning but yeah the poco f3 gt also doing not bad but let's see what will happen when it comes to the middle so right now friends the iq7 has got real competition with the poco f3 gt because in my speed test and uh, ram management test only this phone was able to come so much closer to this iq7 device yes only this phone I did open 15 games and 15 games were able to open in both phones that's really great so you can check the videos in case if you want to know about the speed test between those these two phones and next i need to increase that kind of level of intensity by adding the little bit kind of heavy games i'll try to do that very soon as soon as possible today so haiku sound finished the test i think for the iq sound it's just piece of cake doing this kind of uh, exporting rendering it's not at all so i'm trying to praise only the performance so don't get me wrong why i'm praising every time iq7 no i'm not praising every anything about iq7 i'm just trying to praise up the performance only so that's the one thing you should definitely understand friends saying phone is perfect is different saying the processor is best is different so you should know the difference between those two what i'm trying to mention the performance is only is unbeatable in this iq7 device in this kind of uh, price range so I'm not sure about the other devices, maybe I could sell Legend or I'm not sure about other Snapdragon processor, but still, right now, whatever phones I got at this moment, 
this iq7 was able to do really very very great job in terms of the performance wise it's absolutely and you can see the difference it's it's kind of 2 2x speed or 3x speed it's going the iq7 device it's really great to see and in case if you want me to do any other comparison between both phones let me know in the comment section below definitely i will be able to do those kind of videos as soon as possible for you all so next video I'll, i'm planning to upload so which is best for gaming so that will be my next video so make sure to stay tuned for those videos if you want to let me know which phone is best i'll definitely inform you in those videos as well So right now the rendering is about to complete in the Poco F3 GT. It's finished. So the final results, obviously, you did see that iQOO 7 is a clear winner in terms of the rendering test, and Poco F3 GT didn't clear uh, this kind of speed. And in case if you like this kind of live wallpapers, don't worry. There's a playlist which I've created. You can download this kind of cool-looking views live wallpapers. So see you in the next video, friends. Until then, stay tuned for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.